Can't decide on an early retirement because of Social Security? This video is for you. Hi, I'm financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's get to it. So folks sometimes are thinking about Social, uh, social Security and their early retirement. And, oh, I don't want to early retire because am I going to ruin my Social Security benefit? And in most cases, the answer is probably not right? You get a modest benefit for each additional year of work in most cases, right? So Social Security keys off two things that you need to keep in mind in terms of measuring the impact of another year or two or three in the workforce. One is it replaces average annual income based on 35 years of a working history. So what that means is if you work one more year and you get some more salary into your Social Security record, that's fine. But you got to divide that salary by 35 because it replaces an average annual income, right? That's an important point. And then the second thing you need to be thinking about is bend points, right? Social Security replaces income at various bend points. Up to about 12000 and change of annual average income, it replaces at a 90% rate. Most people even thinking about early retirement are well beyond that 90% bend point. And then it replaces at a 32% bend point followed by a 15% bend point. And if you've blown through that 32% bend point, then you're only looking at a 15% replacement. And here's the thing. You've got to use two numbers to reduce your additional salary. So let's say you're thinking about working for one more year at $100,000 salary. Okay, great. Well, the first thing you do to determine your additional Social Security benefit because of that is you multiply it by whatever bend point you're currently in based on your old earnings, right? So if you're in the 15% bend point, you start by multiplying $100,000 by 15%. And that's not all. You then have to divide by 35, you know, so... You, you start off with the 100,000, you multiply by your bend point. If you're only 15, that's $15,000. And then you divide by 35, you get an average additional Social Security payment of $429 at age 67, full retirement age for most Americans now. Think about that. Would you put off an early retirement for one year just to get $429 more of annual Social Security income? I think for most people, the answer is pretty obvious that you wouldn't do that. What I've done in the description below is I've linked to my recent blog post that talks about early retirement and its impact on Social Security and actually running through some numbers. So please check that out. If you like this video, please mash that like button and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.